Okay, so this video here covers something that is not in the PDF yet, but a lot of you might be asking already, because you might be having problems that I might have digitized a certain area and you by accident missed it out, or you went too far, or something like that. So how do we actually edit these polygon files, um, or these shape files, sorry, that we've got um, on screen here. And so we need to do this before this next section because I didn't digitize it correctly to work well with the PDF. And so I'm going to select this court site over here. Oh, it worked this time. And so quickly just to show you something that um, I haven't shown you yet, you can see up top here in the menu this hand icon allows you to drag your picture left and right. It's called panning. And if you're in the hand icon, you can't really select features, so you have to go up here to go to this select elements or this black arrow. And as soon as I've got that, I can click on my shape file, or let's try to click on this one here. Yeah, I don't know why I struggle sometimes. Maybe I'm not doing something right. But if you can't select this shape file, like I said earlier, just go to all lithologies, open attribute, and it was the second polygon we created. So if you highlight it here, oh no, it's moved it. Interesting. I wonder why. So when you're selecting, let's see if I can just minimize this. I can actually see my screen. Just make sure you can see the screen when you're selecting. So we want to do the left or the western court side. So it is this one here. Okay, so it's, uh, once that is selected, I'm going to close this window. And so what we need for the next section of the PDF is I should have actually digitized this courtside unit to include this orange area because actually the next section of the PDF shows us how to cut this orange out. But I've actually gone around it quite badly. So how do we edit the shape file to include it? And so what we're going to do is we go to the create features up here and we click on QTE. And once we've done that, you can see that um, there's more options available to myself up here. And please make sure you're in the start editing mode. We didn't stop it at the end of the last video, but maybe you did it yourself. So make sure you click on start editing and then click under create features on the feature we're editing. And then we're going to go over here to edit vertices. And as soon as you click on it, you can see all these green lines and dots show you where the vertices are in your shape file. And all you need to do is, oh, sorry, is click on them and then you can edit them. Okay, sorry, now I've got multiple shape files available to me. Okay, so if that happens to you, all you can do here is you go to open attributes, and we said last time it was the number one um, polygon, and so I've highlighted it again. Let's try one more time. Click on edit vertices, and I should be able, you can see as soon as I go over the vertices, it changes to this square with triangles. I can now drag it to where I want it to be. Okay, so you can do that with any place where you've created um, the wrong, or create, gone in the wrong area. And so I'm just going to include all of this orange region in my shape file. Okay, I'm sure you could delete a vertice if you want to. Let's see if we right click on it. You can see delete vertice. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to click finish sketch. I'm going to go here, I'm going to go save edit. Okay, so that was a quick video and now I will start the next video which is section 3.2.2.